Hello, yeah. Vixa. Hello. Lovely to meet you. We could get a teapot and share it. Uh, China jasmine. China jasmine? Yeah. Sounds good to me. You might know him as the former member of Nick Cave's backing band, The Bad Seeds, but for almost 40 years, Blixer Bargeld's main game has been at the front of German industrial band Einstürzenden Neudauter. Their anarchic early albums gave scrap metal and building tools legitimate musical cred, ushering in a new genre known as industrial music. But more recently, Blixer and the band seem to be carving themselves a regular slot in the Dark Mofo lineup, returning this year with their concept show, Lament. A year out in Australia or in Tasmania for a second year in a row, it's a long way to travel. What brought you back out here? Naya, yeah, I asked for it. <laughs> Last year we were performing greatest hits and uh, I said on stage that I would love to come back next year and uh, do Lament. And here we are. With Lament, that project was commissioned in commemoration of the centenary of the First World War starting? Yes. Are you particularly interested in the First World War? No, absolutely not. What was it then that, that drew you to doing that project? Money. While Blixer has clearly mastered the art of the deadpan response, he's probably underselling himself here. An entire year of research was devoted to this project, with Blixer scouring historic archives to unearth rarely heard stories about the Great War. I did research with two different uh, historians on, on the whole subject. And uh, I came up with a couple of things that I was interested in. Like one, one is, was the uh, telegraphic dialogue between uh, Kaiser Wilhelm of Prussia and uh, his cousin, the Tsar of Russia, Nikolaus. I cannot consider Austria's action. Uh, all the way up to, to the start of the war, they were exchanging telegrams every day. And uh, out of this uh, conversation, I, uh, I created a, a duet. Wading through these things and doing this kind of research and then interpreting them into performance, how much of that is an emotional process? I think there's some kind of transfiguration happening in the moment that you, you start turning it into a play, turning it into a performance, uh, and that is a necessary transfiguration too, because if I, I'm not trying to create anything horrible and I'm not trying to create anything boring. I'm maybe an avant-gardist, but I am, I, one thing that I don't think the world needs is another boring piece. Dark Mofo is... Um, meant to be dark, yeah. Is meant to be dark, yeah. It's about darkness and discord oh. and mystery. Do you view your music in that way? No. <laughs> <laughs> no, but uh, you know, we're German, we have no humour, so... <laughs> Cheers. Let's do it! Let's do it! Let's do it!